Okay, hi everyone, Evan here again. It's time to continue our Let's Play of um, the Amnesia Dark Descent. Um, I figured out a way that should hopefully stop perhaps from messing up the synchronization between the um, microphone and the audio, which revolves around only recording 15 minutes at a time, so um, I'm going to have to actually time my gameplay now. Hopefully that will uh, go fine. And if I remember, we're now off to the wine cellar and all the fun things that await us in there, like monsters and all sorts of nasties. And to get all these different ingredients for, um, here we go. What are we doing then? A slight headache and all is good. Fantastic. That's what we like to hear. I think we've done everything in here, so it's, um, I think, yes, so it's to the wine cellar. Let's just get out of here in this lovely ominous dark chamber. What a horrible place to keep your laboratory. It was done, the men said. The tomb had been revealed. Tin Hanan awaits, grinned the toothless foreman. Yes, they mentioned about that legend before. Not interesting, really. This game really wants to make you uh, Google all these uh, different things to see what they're actually all about. Oh yes, of course. Daniel doesn't know how to use keys by himself. He has to do it manually. Into the wine cellar. Brain statues. Well, that's kind of creepy. Everyone normally knows that whenever statues are in any kind of room that something's incredibly creepy is going to happen. Especially in this game. Everything in this game is creepy. There's nothing that isn't creepy. Oh, wonderful. Yes, I know, darkness sanity. Biting fingers off. As it seems to be. It's light headache. Now, I... Yeah, this has just reminded me why I don't like this place. But, um, I'm determined. Because I do believe... Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left us enough wine to last us a lifetime! Or at least until tomorrow! <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a Ferengi from Star Trek and these are Alexander's male prostitutes. <laughs> yes. Nothing here. Except body parts. Wonderful. Okay, you can't pick them up, but you can touch them. Charming. Oh, I really don't like these footsteps because I'm not convinced that Daniel's alone here. At all. My frame rate's seriously sucky at the moment. Right, okay. Nothing in there. Ow! What's happening? Oh, it feels like my chest is going to burst! Oh. My god! Wilhelm, do something! Accept it. We're not getting out of here. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> Charming. I think... It's a brain, isn't it? Yeah. It's definitely a brain. Definitely a brain. Remnants of alien, isn't it? That is. Chest burster. Oh, it's in the box. That's a lonely little tin the box there. Hmm. Okay, I get it. Light. Woohoo! This is something, isn't it? Aquarivia. There we go. Holy crap, frame rate. 
frame rate, come on. Jesus, dude. There we go. Aha, Wilhelm's last words. Uh, my name is Wilhelm, House of Garrix. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago I was summoned to the castle of Brennenberg. As most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what the supposed knight of the order could want from me and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. <laughs> proposition in quotation marks. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honours I've been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. Uh, I was to kidnap healthy humans upon the slightest whim and do so without asking questions. The attorney would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I'd like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I've brought men, women and children to Brennenberg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even hundreds, none of whom were ever seen again. Hmm. Now, tonight the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes and I can no longer... Yeah, there's all his blood. I kind of worry about how fresh that looks. Well, at least we know that Wilhelm probably wasn't a prostitute after all then, but... I don't know. Hmm. At least three piles of remains in here, so... I wonder which one was Wilhelm. Nope. Nothing there. Right, let's um, try and find the rest of the ingredients. I'm not being cautious here because I'm pretty sure that the monster down here isn't real. I could be completely wrong, of course. And I am going to attempt this. I'm going to be drop the ball, probably nothing at all. Shit, shit, shit! <laughs> oh, Daniel, you loser. You really could have avoided that. It... Daniel, dude. Seriously, my frame rates are just going to hell. Oh, come on, pick up. Pick up. Okay, yeah, you're freaking out. How are you, dude? Head is pounding, hands and shaking. Hey, cute, cute cuts and bruises. Thank you, Barrel. I was quite nice and healthy before you fell on my head. I'm freaking out. I destroyed my frame rate. In the box. I think it's in the box you see earlier. Right. Let's use that big, young and strong body of yours to get out of this place. Right, like that. Okay. Christ frame rate, you want this you haven't been this bad before. I wonder if I can get these beams to uh, fall on my head or something. That would be interesting, wouldn't it, Daniel? Well, maybe not for me. Maybe not for you, anyway. Come on. Seriously, dude, are you supposed to be young and strong? I think your strength has been grossly exaggerated. You can move these heavy boulders and shit, but... It takes you forever. Ooh. Sanity regained! A little bit anyway. Christ! Brain rate, what the hell is wrong with you today? My laptop is... having a fun time. Ooh! Good brat! You don't want me to put that up, do you? No. Obviously not. Land tomorrow. 
No, no lamp at all. Nothing here. Nothing. Almost out of time. Okay. I understand that you don't want me going through there. An enemy is near. I'm determined that this enemy is not real. And I'm on that problem that thought it's going to kill me. Isn't it? Because maybe that bottle of laudanum is actually a clue that the uh, Okay, only one way to find out. Is this monster real or is it Daniel's hallucination like I'm assuming? Okay, I think that monster's real. Because it didn't disappear, but it just ignored me. <laughs> it just ignored me, aren't you polite monster? You just completely and utterly ignored me. That's fine by me. I wish all the other monsters would do that. That's why he left, isn't it? Because he knew Daniel would freak out more at some falling rocks than he would about you. Okay, there's no point doing that while my frame rate's chopping every other second, so let's use your nice little manly strength and reach up and grab it. And let's find this other Monster's good at going through doors. Let's find this other. Let's find this other piece of um, chemical before we run out of time. Two minutes, yeah. Should get this done. Okay. Anything to spare? Anything the boxes? Hmm. Not something that even is all the time. Okay, I'm going a bit crazy because there's bugs all over my screen. Orphanment! Bazaar! The last piece of stuff we need. Right, let's get out of here before Daniel loses his uh, head. Let's go. And, um... Back to the main hall. And, um, ooh, came possible to avoid the commotion in the streets paid for his attention. His open shot as the French soldiers open fire on the two in their <laughs> This is a lovely little violent background here. Okay. Shadow, loveliness. And this is where I'm going to end it. I'm going to end it here, and I'll be back for another dose shortly.